Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of January the 11th to the 17th. We are still in the star sign of Capricorn. Aquarius only starts on the 21st, which means we're all starting next week's video in Capricorn. But before we look at any star sign, we always um, look at the overall energy for the week ahead. So let's do that right now. Okay. <clears throat> the overall energy for this week is <laughs> challenging and positive. We have the dancer of lies and the spirit of love. For all of us, we have to figure out where people, governments, situations are not truthful so that we can um, look forward, forward with the knowledge that we're not being deceived, right? And the guides are quite vague about this, so I can't tell you how deep this really goes, but, and I think that that is why this is happening, the next energy for the week ahead is the spirit of love. So what we really should be focusing on um, is, number one, like I just said, demanding the truth, um, find out what the truth is, um, Follow your gut feeling. If you feel something isn't right, something isn't honest, make sure you address it this week. But you have the spirit of love, which means you, you address it softly, kindly, and you invite in the highest energy possible, which is love, which is also a very good week for manifesting um, partnership, to, for manifesting, um, making the relationship you may or may not be in, to make that more fulfilling, right? So um, that's the overall energy. There's not much that the guides tell us really for this week, um, but that's the overall energy for the week ahead. Like I said, we're looking at the week of January the 11th to the 17th, 2021. So that was the overall energy done with. Let's have a look at the first star sign of the week, which is Capricorn. Here we go. I feel like I need to shuffle this again. And remember, you can subscribe to the Facebook page and you can also subscribe to the um, YouTube channel. Both are mentioned here, um, right? Yeah, you see it there? I'll leave it there for a couple more seconds. Make a mental note or write it down. Right? I mean, you're probably watching it on YouTube, so just click the subscribe button. But for the Facebook page, just uh, join the page that you see here. It will disappear now. Bling! <laughs> and now we're going into Capricorn. Here's what the guides have for Capricorn. Let's see what we got. Capricorn... <sighs> Remember the overall energy was the energy of, of saying, I want to know what's what, and I want to invite love. Well, you have the jaguar and the red fox, which means the jaguar is the animal that says, you have to be, or you have to allow yourself to be the unique you that you truly are. So the advice from the guides is to no longer hmm, adapt fully to how other people want you to fit into their world and um, again goes hand in hand with the overall energy doesn't it um, also live your truth and you have the red fox which is obviously um, an old soul a very clever animal but he uh, lives in the uh, in the desert um, and so what the guides are saying is while you are allowing yourself to realize what's what and decide, you know what, I am me, and you can either take me the way I am, or move along. 
right? You will feel a little bit um, boxed in, if that's the word, a little bit um, maybe on the low side energetically and maybe even a bit sad once you realize or should you realize uh, that the relationships around you um, are to a certain extent the way other people make them, right? Okie dokie, that was Capricorn. Now let's go into Aquarius. Let's see what the overall energy, um, sorry, the, the, the energy for the week has got for Aquarius. I say that literally every time um, we record here, that we have overlapping energy. And the peacock has, uh, the, sorry, the, <laughs> the Aquarius has the peacock and the tiger. So what they're saying is, energetically speaking, um, because the over energy is, is like, you know, the dancer of lies, which means something isn't quite right. And you're trying to, to um, uh, invoke that feeling of love and bring that feeling of love into your life. Aquarius, make sure you use your intuition because your intuition would never lie to you. You are really good at reading what's going on. You're also really good at looking through people, right? Um, so, so nothing escapes you, therefore you have nothing to worry about. And <clears throat> so don't try to keep um, situations at bay uh, simply because you don't trust it. That's, that's number one. And then you have the tiger, which is basically uh, like, just like the, the, um, the previous star sign Capricorn. Um, it's saying to you, you are unique, show your uniqueness, okay? And also remember how much stamina you have. You're a really strong person and it's time you um, got your strength um, back and claim it back. Okie dokie. So that was Aquarius going into Pisces, my star sign. I'm just looking at my cat here. He looks out the window, so I'm not sure if he wants to go out. Unfortunately, he doesn't know how to operate a cat flap, even though he's a very clever boy. <laughs> um, so, you want to go out, boy? Mm -hmm. Oh, You want to go out? Okay, let me do Pisces in a second. I just um, want to let him out. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's look at Pisces. I have to say, the more me messages come up, the less I like what I see and what I hear. And I have the feeling that um, because we have the dancer of lies, there is a lot of truth coming out and it needs to be looked at. Because for us Pisceans, we have the ancestor of knowing, which means we can see situations for what they are and we probably have known where things are not really working because we have the understanding of knowing and the shaman of loss. And that means that this is a week to um, let go of situations and maybe even people um, who really aren't fully there for you, who aren't fully your tribe um, and allow that to happen. So my feeling is so far because it's the third star sign we've been lo we looked at and um, the energy hasn't been any higher so far. Um, so my feeling is for this week, 11th to the 17th, um, this is not a high energy week. I wouldn't necessarily say it's doom and gloom, but um, what the guides give me is not super uplifting. Okay, that was Pisces. Pisces. Going into Aries, just drawn to another deck. We just shuffle this. <laughs> Finally, we have a star sign that has an easier week. <laughs> so, Aries. You have the hawk and the deer. All they're saying is, no matter what the week brings and no matter what the week feels like, go with the flow, 
do not get into arguments, do not get into big decision making. And um, it's not so much that you take a week off, but it's like this week it is important for Aries to just go with the flow and step back a little from, from anything and anything and everything that's going on um, and conserve your energy. Short and sweet for Aries. Um, the, I think the important thing here is to realize that when the guides say um, for you to step back a little is to not get into arguments. Don't let other people um, upset you or force you to have endless conversations about stuff that really cannot be fixed with them because they're just not on the same sheet, hem sheet, right? So, that was Aries. <clears throat> Going into Taurus. Ah. <laughs> Why am I recording this? <laughs> Taurus, you have the you have the dancer of frustration and the hunter of vision. So what they're saying is this is a week where you will find yourself thinking, what the heck is going on in my life? And the hunter of vision is basically the guide saying to you is, instead of thinking it's all bad, all crap, right? It's time to overcome the frustration because the frustration doesn't serve you and just go like, okay, if this is my reality, because remember we have the dancer of lies, so this is also where, um, as the overall energy, we have the, the dancer of lies, which means we, um, we need to look at life the way it is and where we feel this isn't working, because what I get for Taurus is that sometimes you, <laughs> you know when situations aren't really working and you sometimes even lie to yourself, even though it's a very harsh word. Um, and and talk yourself into believing that it's all fixable, it's all good. And what the guides are saying to you is, make sure you don't do this, because you have the hunter of vision, which means manifest a change, manifest to get out of situations that aren't working. Okay, really, really important. So it's a week for Taurus, for Taurians, um, to reflect, all right, on life as it presents itself to you. Going into Gemini. Let's have a look at Gemini. Okay. Gemini, you have two C words. Like it's just the crow and the caribou. <laughs> I know what you were thinking, filthy. Okay, you have the crow and the caribou. What the guides are saying is, right now, you're going through a lot of change. Things around you are changing. Your perception of the world is also changing. You are in the midst of changing, which is a good thing. Because um, for those of you who don't know, um, I recorded um, full, a full 2021 year rundown for each star sign. <laughs> and the overall energy for 2021, for the year of 2021 that is, is for us to live our spirituality and be completely ourself, right? So that's important because that's what change means. And so you got, you have to grow, which means that is the animal of transformation, the animal of, of um, well, it's more the animal of change than the animal of transformation because the raven is really the animal of transformation. But the crow is the animal that tells you change is the only constant in the universe. Do not fight it. It's all going to be good. And you have the caribou, also known as reindeer. Not all of them are called Rudolf, right? So you have an animal with antlers, and that means while you're going through, through these changes, you're still fully protected. So therefore, you're going through changes. It might not be the easiest thing to do, but the universe and your guides have got your back, right? And also, the caribou has a split hoof. So as he walks over terrain that isn't easy, like in your life, if there are things, situations that aren't easy, the caribou is telling you there's no way you sink in. No way you lose track of where you're going. So it sounds a bit weird, but enjoy the change. Okay, here we go. That was Taurus. Uh, sorry, that was Gemini. What am I like? That was Gemini. <laughs> going into Cancerians. <laughs> okay, 
like I said, the lowish energy for the week continues here. And for Cancerians, you have the kid fox and the sparrow hawk. And the kid fox is another animal that feels a lot boxed in because there's just not a lot going on. There's not enough new opportunities coming in as of yet. And it makes you feel, I don't know where I'm going here. And I'm just not happy. I feel semi-stuck. Right? That's the feeling I get for Cancerians. And because you have the hawk, they're saying is, yes, things may not be ready yet. Right? Well, the way it feels to me, they're certainly not ready yet for big change. Just go with the flow. When I do this, the hawk uses the upshots of the air to glide, which, is, which is, means just go with the flow, right? And um, it will carry you. So that's, that's that for Cancerians. Going into Libra, uh, sorry, going into Leo. What am I like? <laughs> going into Leo. Leo, you lucky lot. <laughs> you have the, the woodpecker and the maize mother. What they're saying to you is, no matter what the week throws at you, you will manage. It doesn't matter um, what is coming your way, you will matter. And the maize mother is basically a, a symbolism for um, looking at your entire environment and and remember that you are one of the people um, if there is a field because the maize mother here is in a field um, that needs seeds to grow you're the person that brings them there and all they're saying is because it is your field you decide how much time and space you give to people and at which speed you commit to situations and relationships right so that's how this works so that was all for Leo. Nothing to worry about. There's messages coming in here. So let me just stop this uh, because I don't know if this comes through and you can hear this and, and then you can't hear me. Um, so let me just look at the messages and then we go into Virgo. Here we go. A lot of disruptions while recording, which is also something that reflects the energy of the week we're recording. I always notice this. When things are smooth, when um, we look at the week, um, the energy of the week reflects that. So <clears throat> this might be a bit of a disruptive week. Like I said, it's not all doom and gloom at all. It's just a bit more difficult because we will realize that there are situations where we feel like this isn't right and it doesn't add up and I don't want to be treated that way. Right? So, Virgo. Here we go. Virgos, you have the denser of inspiration and the denser of fear. What they're saying to you is, <coughs> is don't doubt yourself at all. You have the denser of inspiration, which means, despite the fact that this is a bit of a low energy week, by all, um, for all intents and purposes. For you guys, for Virgos, um, new ideas will come in. It's a lot of inspiration hitting you and you're like, yay. And that's what you're supposed to do. It's like, wow, okay, I have a new idea. Instead of saying like, um, yeah, I'm not sure the, the idea is that great. Right? So don't talk yourself out of stuff simply because you are, you don't think that you can pull it off, right? Um, just remember this, it's really easy to stop yourself from doing things. And all the guys are saying is, when they send you inspiration, which is also, <coughs> in a way, what we all hope for, isn't it? New ideas, how can I make my life work under the circumstances that we're, that we're all living in, kind of thing, right? then don't block it. Because if the guides come up with stuff where you feel like, is this for me? <laughs> right? Then trust it. And also trust if you come across situations that you feel like, whoa, that's a complete new thing, you will manage. So don't go into fear. Trust that you can do what the guides show you and trust it. Yeah, 
Long, long story short, trust it. Okay, that was Virgo. <coughs> Excuse me. That was Virgo going into Libra. Nah. <laughs> Libra. You seem to be the first star sign <laughs> that has it all figured out. You have the grey squirrel and the grey wolf. And what that means is, there's tons of ideas that are coming your way. There might even be a bit, many, a, bit, a bit too many ideas or too many things going on in your life. And what the guys are saying is, when, when you are mm, overpowered by too, many, by too much stimulus, um, you have to stop either yourself or the people that stop you from exploring what you want to do, really, and, um, and be in charge, right? So claim the space you need, because you are really in a, situ in, in, in a, in a position this week to, to kind of grab the, bulls, grab the bull by the horns, and go like yeah, and I'm and I'm going for stuff, and and there's loads of stuff coming in <clears throat> that you could explore, and all the guides are saying is please explore. But your main message is to look at what's going on around you. Yeah, am I am I too busy, and therefore can't do things? Are there people in my life that I look after and they don't allow me to do this? And then be in charge and create your space. Should you be uh, a person that is completely alone and isolated? <coughs> Excuse me. Then the same applies in the same way as you have to have a look. Um, am I blocking myself here? Right? And this, the feeling that I'm getting is, uh, it's a lot of, um, for, for Librans this week, it's a lot of... Um, Maybe self-esteem issues, self-doubt that you have to uh, contend with and battle this week. And all the guides are saying is, because you have free will, we can't really help you <clears throat> getting out of that hole that you dig for yourself. But it's pointless and it's also not needed because you have purpose, you have value, you have skills and the universe has got your back. Right? So, that was that. So now we have Scorpio and Sagittarius left for this for this week. So here we are. For Scorpios this week, you have the spirit of wisdom and the hunter of abundance. So <coughs> you know when the overall energy said that um, something doesn't add up, you already know that. Old news <coughs> for Scorpios. Old news. Um, it's not bothering you too much because you know what's going on and you pay no attention because you're busy hunting abundance. What that means is you are in the right mindset. Now if you watch this and go like, yeah, right, I'm not, get yourself there, right? That's what meditation is for. That's what good music is for. You know, um, play music from a time when you had no care in the world, right? Wake up your inner child. It, it will then help you to get into the zone of saying like, yeah, I, I, I hunt abundance. And abundant, abundance is <coughs> really a term, not just for financial stability, but an abundance of positive positivity and abundance of opportunities in life it's all ready for you for the taking and because you have figured out that the world seems to have an agenda and people have, seem to have an agenda and you kind of go like i don't care right you are not you don't get me i'm not playing that game you're really way ahead of the curve this week so scorpios right show your strengths and take and claim your abundance Okay, that was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Because we had so many disruptions, I, I feel like 
we're missing something here. <clears throat> yeah, I hate disruptions. Who doesn't? Who, who, who doesn't? <laughs> right, last star sign for today, Sagittarius. We're looking at the week of January the 11th to the 17th, 2021. Overall energy tells us it's not the easiest week, but Sagittarius has have the osprey and the golden eagle, which means you're really not affected by the energy, overall energy for the week. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> the osprey is telling you you're a bird of prey and you have already made progress, which means you're a fighter, you're someone who has a lot of drive. And my feeling is that, you, that, that when this comes up for you, <clears throat> The guides are asking you, if you don't have that drive, it won't come to you. You have to make it come to you, right? Be more active, get your metabolism going and new energy, energies come in. It's always the same thing. <coughs> if your energy is lower, you attract on your energy. What the guides are saying is, be a bit silly even, right? Have a bit of a good time um, and therefore your energy gets higher and then it is much easier to manifest what it is you want because you have the golden eagle and the message of the golden eagle is that you see opportunities a mile away so you're not that stuck what makes you stuck a lot is the feeling all rubbish can't be asked right that kind of stuff don't go there <coughs> Don't go into frustration. Don't think your life is really bad. And if your life is really bad, that's the time to realize it. Remember, we had the tensor of lies as the beginning as of the overall energy. So pay attention and ask the guides for help so things can be changed that are not working. Right? Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you all for watching. That's, that's the week. Yeah, like I said, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and please follow the Facebook page. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of January the 11th to the 17th, 2021. So before we go into the individual star signs, of course, goodbye. <laughs>